If you would have told me before seeing Wicked that I would think that this is one of the best movies of the year, I would have said I would have said you are crazy. But it really is one of the best movies of the year. Thanks for watching the Fanboy Cantina. This is our review, my review of the movie Wicked, starring uh, Cynthia Revo, Ariana Grande, Jeff Goldblum, Michelle Yeoh, um, directed by uh, John M. Chu, and it is currently available in theaters. So maybe to take a step back a little bit, um, my feelings about The Wizard of Oz, yeah, it's not something that I'm very interested in. I, I know that for many people, Wizard of Oz is right up there, you know, one of the best movies uh, perhaps ever, best musicals ever, all, all of that. I have not felt that kind of affection for The Wizard of Oz um, at all, really. Uh, it's fine. It's, it's really fine, and uh, it, but it's not one of my favorites at all. Um, and in terms of musicals, I, I, I do like musicals to a degree, but I would say that honestly, it's more along the lines of common, easily accessible types of musicals. So I love Hamilton. I love Voy Miz. You know, I love those kinds of things. Um, did not love at all Dear Evan Hansen. That I think is a terrible movie. I, I truly did not like that one. And there's one good song in that, and the rest of it I, I found very not good. Um, other kind of exposures to recent musicals. So I did see West Side Story you know, a couple of years back and I did like that. I, I would say like that. I, visually stunning, Steven Spielberg, all of that. Great. Um, but yes, yeah, still for me, I, I liked it. Um, and then In the Heights, which was done by the same director, John M. Chu, I thought was visually amazing, but the music itself, even though it's done by Lynn manuel Miranda, I, I didn't think it was all that great. It's not one of my favorites at all. Um, so going into Wicked and also having seen the trailers where it just seemed a little bit rough, I, I wasn't interested in seeing this movie. Uh, but then after hearing some of the positive reviews, then I got interested and I tried to get tickets. And it was actually really hard to get tickets uh, in my area. But I got tickets and I was able to see it. And it is an amazing movie. Wicked is truly one of the best movies of the year. The performances are stellar. The music is amazing. The visuals are amazing. There is so much to love in how this movie was executed. Uh, I would say near flawlessly. Uh, I was engaged throughout the whole thing. This movie is two hours and 40 minutes long. And I don't. I didn't feel the the length of this movie. If anything, I was still engaged and wanted to see more of it. It is part one, right? And so they don't have that in the title thing. It is part one. So uh, my understanding in the musical version, if you are, um, if you have seen the musical, post in the comments down below. You can correct me here. But I think part one ends where the intermission uh, is in the musical and the stage performance. Um, and I think it still works, right? It's not like, say, some other part one, part two kind of things like um, like Dune part one, right? It just sort of felt like it ended abruptly, right? It just it, it didn't feel quite quite right. right. Uh, or the recent uh, Into the Spider-Verse thing. I did not like where that ended. Here with this movie, it, I feel like it ended in an appropriate place where you had a complete story. You had a complete uh, uh, arc for this uh, film. And it, it was fine for me, but but I can understand the criticism of like, okay, you want to see the rest of the story. And part two is supposed to come out uh, a year from now in 2025. Performances in this movie are amazing. Cynthia Erivo is just captivating in the role of Elphaba, who is the, uh, the green witch, right? Uh, that you see in the trailers. And she's just phen phenomenal. I honestly was not familiar with her work and looking at her imdb you know I, I see that i've seen a number of things where she's had a role she's had a part but i, I honestly i don't really remember her in, in those things um but uh, here in this role it's just she, she's perfect as this main character of alphaba um her, her singing her how she conveys emotion everything is just perfect ariana grande you know, again, this is kind of like about this movie in general. If you were to tell me um, just days before seeing this thing that I would feel like uh, Ariana Grande is a tremendous actress, I, I would have said you're 
crazy. Uh, and in fact, she's just perfect in this role as uh, Glinda, Galinda, the, uh, the, the witch, or Galinda, I guess it's just Galinda in this case. Um, she was tremendous. Her singing is spot on. And she, the way that she conveys a range of emotion between kind of the ditzy goofball and then uh, a- actually having that connection and uh, emotion in her role is uh, is really uh, phenomenal. The other supporting characters, I think, uh, are really wonderfully done. Wonderful performances. Fun to see uh, Saturday Night Live's Bo and Yang uh, in this movie uh, for a little bit. Um, Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Yeoh. Now, I've kind of wrestled with my feelings on their performances. They, they're fine here. Um, I do feel like maybe if you had somebody who was more of a uh, a singer, right? Or uh, Jeff Goldblum is a uh, is a musician in his own right. But I, I think if you had maybe other people in those roles, I'm I'm somewhat sad to say that maybe it would have been better. They're fine. They they are fine though in, in this in this movie. Um, other thing, I'm just looking at my notes here. You know, other things to to point out or observe. the The music is uh, tremendous. I I have not seen Wicked uh, before. Um, my sole exposure is you know, if you watch any amount of TV and if you've had, you know, the touring uh, Wicked uh, group come through your town or wherever you are, uh, you've probably heard snippets. That's my main exposure, probably all the exposure. I, I've heard maybe one or two of the songs before, but I really don't. I really had no exposure to Wicked, truly. Um, so here in the movie, I thought the music was amazing. And there are multiple um, moments where the connection between the songs and how it's realized in film on, on the screen is just uh, tremendous. There's the, what's the name of the song? Uh, Dancing Through Life? or uh, it, Yes, I think that's the name of the song. Where it, it takes place in a, in a library. You've seen it and you get to see this thing in the trailers too. Um, the intersection between the song and the visuals and the choreography is just phenomenal. And it just stood out for me as, wow, this is truly amazing. Other songs, other performances are, are, are great, uh, but that was just uh, eye-popping. And uh, there are moments of, of um, uh, true tenderness uh, in, the, in the songs as well and how it's performed. There's a, a dance that happens if you've seen the movie. Um, it's uh, uh, really, really wonderfully, wonderfully done. Um, I would say as a criticism here, there is a song at the at the very end, which I think is a showstopper of sorts. Um, felt like maybe it kind of had uh, some fits and starts of how it was done. I know I can understand why it was done in that way. Um, but uh, and it was actually in this moment, it's where there is the most amount of CGI or visual effects going on. And it kind of took me a little bit out of it because so much of it is so much of this musical is, you know, you're, you're centered on Cynthia Revo as Elphaba, right? You're, or the individual faces of these of these two characters of Ariana Grande and uh, Cynthia Revo. Uh, so here it's a lot more VFX that come in. And took me out a little bit, um, but wow, it was just, so, it was still so tremendous. It was so s- tremendous to, to see uh, uh, this realized. Um, other things, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place with my notes here. You know, with um, with Cynthia Erivo as the main character, Alphaba, it's hard for me to imagine. I know that Edina Menzel uh, realized this character on Broadway, um, but to, you know, and I guess it's whatever you're first exposed to, right? But for me, it's, it's like hard to imagine, you know, that you had that you would have had uh, Idina Menzel or, you know, in that character because she just does it so amazingly well. It was just captivating, absolutely ca- captivating. And with this movie, you could boil it down, you could dumb it down to let's. It's like Mean Girls meets Harry Potter. It's kind of a disservice to all three of the franchises here together. Uh, it is kind of that. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, there's these univer- more universal themes about belonging or being bullied. Um, the feeling of being different, not being accepted. That I think 
have read that are part of the fuel for why this musical has resonated for audiences for the like what two past two and a half decades or whatever uh, whatever it's been uh, a couple of decades uh so i i can understand those themes as being very very universal but to have cynthia Erivo as a as a diverse uh, person as a woman of color in the in the role and uh so much of this movie um I don't want to get into spoiler, but but it 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 lands that much more powerfully, and um, but uh, so I think you can take the themes, the messages of the movie in multiple directions. I think if you were to go down in a, this other path of you know the red laser IB is ah what a, man. you could go down that route if if you so choose, but you know I think you'd be missing out on really a, a great movie that. You know, for any anybody who's ever been bullied at all for being different, um, it lands well. It, it, it's really a, a powerful film. And then when you get to the the end, the crescendo of the, all this thing, it's just it's just amazing. So I am looking forward to seeing uh, part two. I'm going to try to avoid uh, getting into Wicked and you know having uh, part two spoiled uh, prematurely. It's, I think it's going to be probably impossible, not realistic for me to to do. But if I can, um, I'm excited because I I think there's um, I have ideas on what uh, part two may be. I yeah, but uh, I'm very very interested in where this uh, movie is going to uh, end, where this uh, story is going to uh, land. Uh, so I think I've covered all of my uh, little talking points. Uh, post in the comments though. Have you seen Wicked in the in the stage, um, uh, you know, in the theater like that? Have you seen uh, Wicked uh, this movie in the theater in that in that way? Post in the comments. Would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts about Wicked the movie? I had a phenomenal time. The movie theater where where I was at the, at the time that I saw it. As I said, it was it was kind of hard to find tickets uh, uh, to to see this thing, and. Um, I'm glad I saw it in a packed uh, theater. There were there was barely any empty seats uh, in this uh, showing, and uh, it was fun to hear like the you know for people who do have that connection, that previous connection with the musical, uh, you could hear the gasps and the applause and everything, all the other emotion of how much uh, is, it seemed at least for the audience that I was amongst uh, really loved this musical, but. I want to hear from you. What did you think of music, the musical uh, Wicked? Did you like it? Did you love it? Post the comments. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina.